Hey students, is your favorite project exam homework online class help tutor here? For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm an online tutor and academic expert from New Jersey with over five years experience teaching students how to cheat on an online project exam. I also complete project exams, tests, quizzes, as well as homework assignments, essays, and entire online classes for U.S. and Canadian college and university students in math, science, business, English, engineering, social sciences, humanities, computer programming, computer science, and foreign languages. Um, for the YouTube algorithm, the following are my video tags. Pay someone to take my online proctored exam for me. Pay someone to take my online proctored test for me. Pay someone to do my online proctored exam for me. Pay someone to do my online proctored test for me. Pay someone to take my online proctored quiz for me. Pay someone to do my online proctor quiz for me. Pay someone to take my online class for me. Pay someone to do my online class for me. Pay someone to take my online course for me. Pay someone to do my online course for me. Pay someone to do my homework for me. Pay someone to write my essay for me. Pay someone to do my essay for me. Pay someone to write my paper for me. And pay someone to do my paper for me. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to complete a two-hour um, statistics exam for one of my students on my stat lab live in real time where I'll explain my entire thought process and show all the apps, software, calculations, and websites that I'm going to use to determine the correct answers. I will show the score to the exam immediately after the exam is complete so you can see me get either an A or a B on it. This video will contain time stamps for when I start the exam and for when the final grade is shown. So if you want to skip to me getting the grade on the exam, the exam, you can just go to the timestamp time stamp section in the video description below and click on the label timestamp. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so let me just quickly go over this course. This is an introductory statistics course on my stat lab. Um, this student hired me to complete her entire online course for her on her behalf. So as you can see, these are the grades I've gotten so far, 100% and 90% scores on pretty much every assessment. Okay, there are a bunch of reading quizzes, exams, homework assignments. So now what I'm going to complete is the last exam, the final exam. Okay, it's one attempt and two hours long. Okay, so there's 25 questions. All right, so I'm going to get started. Okay, question one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, probably that's a girl. Alright, 219 divided by 219 plus 212. Mm, okay. 0 0.508. Uh, no, it doesn't seem effective. Okay. Question two. Uh, probably getting exactly seven pods is 0 0.281. Okay. Seven or more green pods. All right. 0 0.379. Just add those two up. Which probably is relevant for a term whether seven is an usually high number of green pods. Okay. Uh, okay. So D is it new unusually high? No. So it's not a usual number. Okay. Let me see here. I'm just copy this. Okay, I'm gonna check check, just double check.
These are probably tend to park the our results in part B. Okay, good. Move on to question three. This looks like it's perfect one correlation, like R equals one, because it's um, perfectly linear and positive. Question four. All right. Um, let's see here. Fewer than three. This is a binomial problem. All right. So there's um, what's it called? There's seven adults. Probably 0 0.8. The value is fewer than three. Okay. So that means two, one, and zero. So zero point zero zero four zero three. So C is the answer. All right. Um, this is a statistic because it's describing a sample. Okay. Are we on question six. Probably. Okay. This is a normal um, prop, normal distribution problem involving the Z test. Z score. Three hundred days. 268 is the mean 15 days of standard deviation. Put it in the calculator and get 0 0.0164. Okay. Number seven. Find P56. Okay. Um, percentile. Just type in percentile calculator. Okay. Okay, I'm going to type in the data here, and I'll, I'll copy and paste anyway. Find the 50th percentile, 56th percentile, and it's 73.84. Let's see which matches. Hmm. Okay, 73.5 and 73.84. Okay. Let me look up a different one just to double check. Let's compare. Wait, hold on. I put it here, make sure that's parsed correctly. Great. Okay, copy this. Seventy-three point nine six. Hmm. So it looks like it's seventy-four, judging by the closeness. Okay. Seventy-three point nine six. Okay, let me just try one more just to double check. Okay, let me try two more. Let me compare these just to see what they say. Because sometimes they have different methods of like um, determining the percentage and want to make sure which one is the most accurate one. Okay, it says 74. Okay, that seems to be the consensus. Let me just double check the others. Right, 56. 73.96, so 74 as well. Okay. And this one I'm checking. 56. Load. Well, that's loading. Let me 
right here. Right here. Fifty six. Calculate. Says seventy four again. Okay. And this also says. Seventy-four. Okay, so the answer looks like what I'll doubt is seventy-four. Great. Moving on. I'm gonna skip a D's. Okay. Z score for the male. All right. Um, Z score for the male. Let's see. Sixteen hundred minus three two seven eight point. 3278.7 minus 1600 divided by 640.5 or 2.62. All right, the female six. All right, negative female 1600 minus three. Zero three two point five divided by six four two point nine or negative two point two three. The male weight is more extreme because it has because it has um a significantly like um standard deviation absolute value. Uh, from to higher Z score from the mean compared to the female, so it has the weight that's more extreme. Question nine: The value of the mean, zero point seven five times twenty six, that's nineteen point five. Standard deviation: that's zero point seven five times twenty six times zero point two five. That's 2.2 for standard deviation. Range rule of thumb. All right. So let's see here. Times 2. 19.5 minus x. It was 15.1. 19.5 plus x. It's 23.9. Okay. Significantly high or low. Hold on. Let me just double check to make sure that I did this correctly. I mean, I'm confident that it's right, but I just want to make sure that I didn't make a mistake. Looks like it's correct. I just want to double check something else. Two times two point seven. Okay, good. I did it correctly. Now it looks like the result is not significantly low because wait. Oh yes, it is significantly low because it is less than fifteen point one p's. Great. Moving on. Lower class width, okay. Uh, 
100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Upper class limits, 199, 299, 399, 499, 599. Good. Class width is 100. Class midpoints are, let's see, 100 plus 199 divided by 2. Okay. 149.5. Copy this. Paste. Change this to 2. Copy this. 3. Copy this. 4. Copy this. 5. Okay. Class boundaries. 99.5. 199.5, and 599.5. Great. The number of individuals include in the summary. Let's see, copy the clipboard. Uh, that's gonna be difficult. Okay. Good. Screw this. I'm just gonna add it all up. 26, 93, plus 28, plus 0, plus 2, 149. Great. Moving on. Okay. Alright. 0 0.50. Okay. D. Boys, wait. Sorry, B. Okay, I'm just getting my calculator. Z test. 0 0.505. 876. 433. 876. Mm hmm. Alright. I think it's 0.6. Three, all right. P value zero point five two six. All right, and what we should do is reject. No, fail to reject because there's not sufficient evidence. Okay, moving on. All right. All right. Um, the results do not believe. Those do not support the belief. There's not a strong evidence against the raid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Question twelve. All right. Let's see here. One three eight ten ten. One. Three. Nope. Don't know. One three eight ten ten. So C is the only one that looks correct. Uh, this looks normal. Okay, good. Question 13. Every... Use systematic sampling. Okay, yeah, systematic. Greater than 215, okay. 215, 29, 205, 8.9, okay, okay. 0 0.1306, okay. Probability that 20 of them are greater than 215. Okay. Okay, it's zero. No. Uh. 
Yes, because that's normal distribution. Okay, good. Question 15. Or I'm going to type all this in my calculator. What's the largest number here? Two, four, six, three. The smallest number is one, 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 nine. That's the range. Hold on. Okay, is here A or B? I'm gonna check the median. Yeah. Let me check the median. Okay. Small. Small. That's the middle. Okay. It's definitely the middle. Okay. It's B. Perfect. Alright. Question 16. Alright. Plus less than 7. B. Okay, T test. Um, we're going to do 7 for mu, um, 6.874 sample mean, sam sample standard deviation 2.02, n is 185, n is less than. Put in the calculator, we get negative 0 0.88. The p value is 0 0.191. All right, the conclusion is that we fail to reject HL because there's not sufficient evidence to conclude that it's less than seven. Great, moving on, question 17. The mean of the frequency degrees. All right, hmm, okay. Uh, grouped standard deviation calculator. Forty, forty-five, fifty, so forty to sixty-five. Fifty, Two, four, nine, five, two. Okay. And calculate. Let's assume this is correct. Yes. This is all correct. So let me see. Two, four, nine, five, two. The mean is 52.22, so 52.2 is close, close is less than, okay, B, moving on, question 18, alright, Distribution calculator. Okay, I'll just use my calculator for this. Alright, 
52, 66, 71, 58, 54, 46, 53. 52, 66, 71, 58, 54, 46, 53. Okay. That's 400 total. Great. So L1 divided by 400 times 100%. Great. We have 13, 16.5, 13.5, 11.5, and 13.25. All right. Mm -hmm. mm. It does appear that it occurs with the equal frequency. Mm, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, yes, let me, let me actually do the math here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. 400 divided by 7. 400 divided by 7. 400 divided by 7, 400 divided by 7, 400 divided by 7, 400 divided by 7, 400 divided by 7. Okay, I'm gonna do a chi square, go to fitness test, LL2, observed, expected. Mm. Yes, according to this, it is. Okay. All right, question 19. The probability of selecting a student spent the money given a $1 bill. Okay, spent the money given a $1 bill. So 12 divided by 12 plus 31. 0 0.0.279. All right. Kept the money. So 31 divided by 12 plus 31. Okay, 0 0.721, okay, got it. More likely to keep the money. Okay, moving on. Question 20. Okay, by knowing your problem. 11. 0 0.65, 11 again. Okay, D. Okay. The indicate IQ score. Okay. 0 0.0912 to the right. And the mean is 100, the standard deviation is 15. Okay. Round to the nearest whole number, that's 120. Okay. 22. Confidence interval problem 34, 118, 0 0.95. Okay, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Okay, but this is exact same problem before I remember. All right, question 23. Okay, regression line. Okay, can't copy. Okay, I'm gonna have to write all this down. Okay, 23, 25, 28. 21, 21, 25, 26, 30, 34, 36, got it, 49, 53, 59, 42, 47, 53, 55, 63, 67, 75, got it, let me just double check, 25, 23, 28, 21, 21, 25, 26, 30, 34, 36, got it, 49, 53, 59, 42, 47, 53, 55, 65, 63, 67, 75. Good. Perfect. 
uh, L1, L1, L2, Y1, okay, um, 1.91, 5 or 5, so A is correct. Turn 24, 99% compass interval, alright, sample mean was 95, Sample student deviation is 6.6, and the sample size is 30, and it's 99% confidence. So it's 91.6890. Okay, B is the answer. Okay, last question. What is the null hypothesis? 98.7. Okay, so I'm about to submit the exam. Yes, confirm I'll submit. Okay, so the score has been submitted. I got a 92.67%. So in here in the US, that's an A minus. Not bad for a final exam. Okay, well, thank you for taking the time to watch me complete this um, online statistics exam for one of my students on um, my stat lab. Um, I appreciate you checking out my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for um, other YouTube content I have. And also please share so I can help um, spread word about my wonderful academic services. And I'll see you all next time. Closing keywords. Pay to take my online project exam for me. Pay to take my online project exam for me. Pay to do my online project exam for me. Pay to take my online project test for me. Pay to do my online project test for me. Pay someone to take my online project quiz for me. Pay someone to do my online project quiz for me. Pay someone to take my online class for me. Pay someone to do my online class for me. Pay someone to take my online course for me. Pay someone to do my online course for me. Pay someone to do my homework for me. Pay someone to write my essay for me. Pay someone to do my essay for me. Pay someone to write my paper for me, and pay someone to do my paper for me.